This video explains how to use the new motion system. For more information and downloads, check out our GitHub. The link is in the description. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to show you the new features of the new dashboard version. Uh, I've released it. I've released these days and mainly I will show you the new motion system. I've set up the controller here uh, for demonstrating the features and at first before you can discover the new dashboard you have to install the firmware onto the controller. For this you will have to download the new firmware from the GitHub channel and flash it onto the controller. As I will show you with a local file I have here and open it, check the encrypted firmware checkbox and then bring the controller into the bootloader mode. Um, therefore you can use the manual that is described how to do this or if you have already firmware 3.1 installed you can connect the USB cable to the flash port USB data and then you can use the handheld or the encoder in the display or I will use here um, the dashboard already and go into the menu then choose setup menu and go all the way to the right until you get the enter bootloader option and then you have to confirm twice with the encoder button and you see the dashboard is disconnected the controller now boots into the bootloader and then I leave the COM port blank and flash it onto the controller okay that's done and now I wait that the controller reboots connected to the dashboard again and after that we have to do a factory reset uh, there are three options if you turn left the encoder after starting the rotating linear and the motion XP factory reset I will choose for rotating actuators because that's my one controller reboots again and now we can set up the configuration for your rig and uh, we have and now you can set up all your configurations and transmit it to the controller. Okay, that's uh, how it works all the time already. That's nothing new. And now I will come to the new motion system. For the new motion system, uh, it's based on filter system coming from Mover. You know, I find it quite good and uh, thought uh, that I could do it, modify a little bit. So we have profiles uh, and automatic connections to the games. And for if you want to use this, you have to set up uh, the geometry of your rig here. And so you have to choose a rig on the rig page. And uh, then you have to enter all the geometry, like you know it from Mover, and save it to the controller. Yes, transmit the data if you finished. Controller reboots, and after that you can 
check the motion with the test page. It's now working smooth. And for this you check the 6DOF float mode and enter the maximum range of your rig or just the number you think you it can reach it uh, for surge, sway and heave in millimeters and for your roll and pitch in degrees um, that are the maximum values of the, well, uh, of the sliders here and then you can start the controller and I have no motors connected so there are axes and uh, after homing go online and then press the run button so the test page is running controllers getting data and now you can uh, slowly move the sliders and look how your rig is moving uh, if is going up and down and so on you know all these things okay if uh, this works properly for your rig you can finish the testing and now you have to check that the motion system is enabled and I also prefer to enable the high precision timer that's using a little bit uh, more CPU and has a stable filter timings so okay um, if you have checked these two boxes uh, you can close the configuration window and maybe going offline and then click on the motion button and there will be coming up a, a big window where you can set up the motion profiles for your games and your rig. Um, uh, for different rigs there are different motion profiles but uh, the system always checks the controller which profile is uh, which uh, rig is uh, loaded and for this rig you can edit the profiles this means if you change the rig in the controller uh, your profiles for the other rig are away and coming back if you choose the rig again okay then you have here different sources i will upgrade them from time to time now we have some flight sims and two racing sims vrc 23 is not working already and um, you can now create profiles for each of the sims and with the add button there will be one more and you can edit them or delete them or copy a profile and edit the copy one okay in this uh, drop down here you can also enter different names yes and if you have one profile ready and uh, you want to use it maybe it is here you have to check it as active profile and uh, because we have automatic game sim detection this uh, active profile will be loaded if uh, the motion system connects to a game well um, for all the uh, flight simming games you have like you know it from mover and an air and in ground profile which you can switch uh, with these two boxes so you can edit the air profile and the ground profiles there are transition included if you hit the runway it will switch over to the ground profile and back if you lift off yes for, for racing games there's only a, a normal profile supported and the, the ground profile, also the, in this case, is the air normal profile, and ground and extra does will not be used. Okay, um, how the whole system works? Um, we are 
getting uh, acceleration from the games for the translation and we use uh, acceleration with GeForce and for the rotation we use the speed values coming from the game that's hard coded and could not be changed because it's the best uh, choice you can do and the system works uh, with some filters so you can copy paste from mover if you like or or create your own filters here your own filter strings and check if they work and the main benefit of this system here is that you have the profiles that will be automatically loaded and you have sliders to manipulate the filters okay if you're following the classical motion theory you have um, a limit that's the crop then two times the low pass filter for translation a high pass filter and the input gain manipulator yes so the input uh, is um, is the boost with this slider you can modify the gain value with this move you can modify the low pass filter values yes the higher the value means uh, the smoother and with the, with the washout you can manipulate the high pass filter the limit manipulates the crop well so you can also easily from vr the values here i've tested it it works good okay uh, first um, at the top you have uh, the overall settings these sliders are again the boost for all the motion profiles and the smooth for the low passes and the washout and so you can modify all degrees of freedom at once so this is uh, coming from 1 to 1000 this is also the maximum values for this filter and in the single effects you have in percent from 1 to 100 percent of the master scaling and if you're not satisfied with the values you can add it maybe it's uh, for for the boost i will change it back to 500 and here to 50 percent so you can change maybe say we want 100 here and then it scales the value to the chosen 100 and so if you modify in percent Uh oh you do it to 500 and so you have exactly the percent you wanted okay and so now if you choose the maximum is thousand then go to 100 percent you have the thousand so you can uh, scale the value if you're not satisfied with this if you want to scale it to 100 do it this way okay and so it works for all the filters and uh, this now creates a classical motion system where you have sway search heave like you know it from mover yaw roll and pitch and also you have the tilt coordination sway in roll and search in pitch so you can for uh, set up all axes uh, for, for his own you can enable and disable each degree of motion so that you only have for instance sway now then drive this way and check up the values for it and then go to the next DOF well okay so I do it to set up a, a profile so what I will say no, now is um, that you also have control effects and here you can save in the profile the values for controller master gain the 
the filter of the controller and the spike filter settings of the controller and settings for the belt. But actually uh, my motion system does not support belt, this will be added later. Okay, then I have also some uh, some extra effects uh, not uh, belonging to the classical motion system, this is bank. In roll effects it means that the bank position of the sim will be rendered into the roll in degrees and you have a real map and a rollover filter for it and the same also for the pitch pitch position into pitch okay um, so that's the overview of the system and now uh, i want to start uh, oh no, i forgot on one window it's the data button here and if you hit the data button there will come up this window and here you can see all the data coming from the sim and uh, going to the profile, the transition and the timings of the sim and the timing of the filter. So I will now start um, an explain session and I will continue with the large flight and now it's taking just a moment and I'm back soon. Okay, explain has loaded now and the system does connect to it automatically but it doesn't transfer data to to rake because you are still offline. If you go online then you can see the online button becomes green. Uh, all is uh, done with transitions so that you have no jolts and here you can see data is coming from explain in the air profile because we are in air and yes this data will now be sent to the rig and the rig is moving if you're new to the system i prefer that you start each profile testing with a gain of 10 percent and feel how it works and then uh, slowly increasing the gain and check that all is okay okay if you have a crash the profile is stopped you see the light goes red and now again motion comes and it goes online with transition um i will check something here the data window again and now i will pause the game and you can see the data is uh, stopping and uh, the system is going offline and sending no data. Well, and yeah, so it works for all the sources. And I hope I could explain it to you that you understand how the system works. And just yes, please test it. Be carefully and have fun. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have um, to, to add some information. Um, the motion system is described in the manual. So you can see what uh, filters are supported actually. And if you like more filters, please write into my Discord channel. And yes, thank you and have a nice time.